Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 11th of March, all of Wine, W-Y-O-N, 1890-1966. We are like members of a choir, which is singing together unaccompanied. Possibly we do not know each other very well, and we are not used to singing together. Gradually, though we do not hear it, we drop lower and lower, and the choir master has to give a little toot on his pitch pipe to remind us of the level at which we ought be singing. Isn't this rather like our tendency to live day by day, doing the same things over and over again, meeting the same duties and the same people while we are off and working at great pressure, pressure, rushing to get things finished and breathlessly trying to cope? Whether we enjoy this pressure, and I'm sure that some of us do like it, or whether we hate it, very often the effect is the same. Without being aware of it, our note is dropping all the time. Our prayers are becoming more formal or more irregular or more languid. When we are able to secure a little leisure, we find it increasingly difficult to make the most of it. We are distracted or dissipated in the sense in which Pascal uses the word, to revert to our parable of the choir, the note on which our lives are being lived is dropping all the time, and we don't notice it. We need a sudden and urgent reminder to pull up sharply as the choir master does when he sounds his pitch pipe. We need something to pull us together and to help us to screw the note of our lives up again. That is why in any period for thought and prayer such as Lent provides, it is far more important to turn our lives to God than it is to consider ourselves. The pitch pipe which we shall use will be the consideration of our Lord's passion. When we consider him during this supreme moment of his life on earth, we shall see how far the note of our lives has dropped at once. We shall begin to start afresh and try to sing in tune with him. The prayer, John Henry Newman, 1801-1890. I need thee to teach me day by day, day, according to each day's opportunities and needs. Give me, O oh my Lord, that purity of conscience, which alone can receive, which alone can improve thy inspiration. My ears are dull, so that I cannot hear thy voice. My eyes are dim, so I cannot see thy tokens. Thou alone canst quicken my hearing and purge my sight and cleanse and renew my heart. Teach me to sit at thy feet and to hear thy word. Amen.